originally had a slow, very boring skit that I wrote for this review, and I edited it all together, and thought, this is really boring. So I decided to scrap it, because I didn't want to end up being too much like the movie I'm about to review. <laughs> Insidious Chapter 2 on the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. As I said in the intro, this movie is truly boring and slow. But, does that mean I hate the movie? Well, no it doesn't. In fact, I found it very interesting. Which seems to be bugging a lot of people, considering the fact that it was more interesting than scary. Don't get me wrong, there are still some pretty creepy scenes in this movie. Just not as many as the first one had. I really think what James Wan wanted to do was branch out as far as he could into this movie and give away as much as he could without just giving away everything. All of the same actors and actresses who played in the first movie reprise the roles in this movie. And how are they? Well, you can tell that a few years have passed since the first movie, and they also seem much more comfortable in their roles. It is really sad that the ghost that looks like Darth Maul is not in this movie. But the ghost that we do focus on, it just... It gets too weird. And instead of the ghost being a scare icon, would they make him into a... character? And his acting is... spooky, I guess? But after all is said and done, the one thing that really pissed me off was that there was no tiptoe through the tulips in this movie, even though in the trailer there was tiptoe through the tulips. Come on. Do I really have to sing it for you guys? Tiptoe through the tulips with me. Overall, I give Insidious Chapter 2 a 3 out of 5. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and to leave comments and subscribe.